Hey, what is going on guys? John here and in today's video, we're going to be talking about iOS 15 and Siri offline. Now, before we get to that, I want to mention that we were all expecting a beta 2 to drop today. However, it doesn't seem like Apple is going to be giving us any time this week. Now, likely we're going to be seeing it sometime next week and hopefully Apple is going to be bundling a lot more within beta 2. But anyways, back to iOS 15 and the new Siri feature. Now, when I mentioned new, it's something that we were all expecting to come along one day, and it seems like today is the day. Offline mode is now available, and today we're going to be testing out pretty much all the features that it does work with. Now, if you guys can remember back then, we had something called a voice control, and that has been removed completely out of iOS. You're not going to be able to find it anywhere within settings, and Apple has finally replaced it with Siri Offline. Now, Siri Offline is pretty cool. It works exactly the same way as it would when connected to the internet. However, there are a couple of limiting features, which we're going to be testing it out today. Why don't we go ahead and just jump straight into this one and start asking it a bunch of questions. Now I did write out an entire list to ask Siri. If you guys have anything else you want me to test out, please drop it in the comments below and I'll do it for another video. So to start this off, why don't we begin with the more easier ones and then we're going to lead up until uh, the harder ones which I don't think would really work, but we'll see here. So to activate Siri, it's fairly simple. All you need to do is just click onto the side button. And if you have a Touch ID device, press onto the home button. That should invoke her. So why don't we go ahead and do that here? All right, so the first thing you're going to notice right after clicking onto the side button without being connected to the internet is this little prompt right here. It says, I can help with that when you're connected to the internet. You can disregard that completely because she still works in the end. Now we're just going to verify that she is isn't connected to the internet right now. There is no Wi-Fi bar, there's no LTE or 5G. So we're just gonna start asking her questions on the list from top to bottom. What time is it? I can't help with that when you're connected to the internet. What's my battery percentage? Battery is at 37%. Turn off Wi-Fi. Okay, I turned Wi-Fi off. Turn on Wi-Fi. Sorry, there's something wrong. Please try again. Open settings. Open Tesla. Turn on flashlight. Okay, I turned flashlight on. Turn off flashlight. Okay, I turned flashlight off. Turn the brightness up. Sorry, something's gone wrong. Please try again. Turn the brightness down. I'm having a bit of trouble here. Please try again. All right, so roughly about 60% of the questions work there, which is pretty impressive for a beta. Now we're going to ask it a little bit more complicated questions. What's the weather like today? I can't help with that when you're connected to the internet. Set a timer for one minute. One minute, starting now. Cancel timer. It's canceled. That's a little odd right there. She popped up a 15, even though she's supposed to cancel the timer. Might be just a little bug. Remind me to record YouTube. I can't help with that when you're connected to the internet. What's on my schedule? There are no running timers set. Take me home. I can't help with that when you're connected to the internet. Turn the volume up. Okay, media will play louder. Okay, and last but not least, all these random little questions that I ask her from time to time. Sing me a song. I could while away the hours. That is Can very impressive. Flowers? I thought she would not work with Sing Me A Song. Uh, that definitely requires internet, but I guess Apple really hard-coded this inside series. So if you guys ask her to sing you a song, she definitely will. All right, so I guess that does work, but she only sings one song, so a little disappointing there. Let's ask her one final thing. Tell me a riddle. All right, so there we go, guys. A Siri does work while in offline mode. There's not really much to it. You're going to see the same exact options and toggles available within the Siri and search. Uh, however, she just works offline now. Now, I haven't really tested if uh, Hey Siri works. Uh, let's try that out. Okay, so she definitely works there. She listens to you uh, at all times and she works offline. So this is really great for those of you that have an iPod Touch that are outside and want Siri to switch a song or something like that. So yeah, I'm definitely going to say that this is one of the more impressive features within iOS 15 and a lot of you guys should be waiting for this if you don't own an iPhone with a data plan. So anyways, guys, this should pretty much wrap it up for this video on Hey Siri offline. If you guys want me to ask her anything else or test anything else, let me know in the comments below. And if you guys haven't done so already, please hit the subscribe and that bell notification. That will let you guys know exactly when I release a video. But anyways, this should be it. Once again, guys, peace out.